My name is Jace and this is Fast Forward Design. Each week I teach new fast tutorials with easy step-by-step -step instructions on all things design. All right, let's get started. In this tutorial, I will show you how to easily apply a dodge and burn effect to a portrait in Photoshop. This is a non-destructive technique that uses the lights and darks of your photo to determine where to dodge and burn. Dodging and burning will help enhance the existing highlights and shadows of your photo to give your photos more depth and dimension. This is the photo I will be using because there is little variation to the lighting in her face, so this technique will create a more dramatic lighting effect on her face and in the background. Step 1 is to create two new curves layers, one for the dodge and one for the burn. Go to the adjustments and add a curves adjustment. You don't need to change anything in the curve setting, but change the blend mode to screen. I'll call this adjustment Dodge. Then create another curves adjustment layer, but this time change the blend mode to multiply. I'll call this layer Burn. The second step is to combine the adjustments to one group and add a layer mask. Select both the Dodge and Burn layers and right click and select Group from Layers and click OK. Then select the Add to Layers mask icon to apply the layer mask. Let's also lower the group opacity now. We might want to come back to this later to strengthen or diminish the effect. Step 3 is to control the dodge and burn effects using blending options. Let's start with dodge. Select the dodge layer and right click and open blending options. We will focus on the underlying layers slider. Where the black triangle represents the darker areas and the white triangle represents the lighter areas. Drag the black triangle towards the right while keeping an eye on your image to determine the right dodge. I'm going to stop at 190. Then hold the Alter Option key on the triangle to split the triangle and move the separated portion to the right. This will help feather the blend. Next, do the same thing with your burn layer. Move the white triangle towards the black while looking at your image. I'm going to stop at 200. Again, hold the Alt or Option key to split the triangle and move the separated triangle to feather the burn. And now you have a nice dodge and burn effect on your photo. Step four is optional. If you want to remove the dodge and burn effect from portions of your image, like the eyes, lips, clothing, or hair, you can create a new group with an adjustment layer. Then using the eraser tool on low opacity, brush over the areas of the portrait you want to remove the dodge and burn effect. In this example, I'll do the eyes, lips, and parts of the hair and clothing to make it pop more. And finally, you may want to go back to the opacity of the effect to either lower or strengthen the dodge and burn. And that's it. Thanks for watching and let me know if this hack worked for you in the comments below. I post new fast and easy design tutorials every Wednesday. 
If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos.